Hey, how's it going? So it's currently Tuesday afternoon and we've got some exciting news. I'm just taking a break from a bit of work. I was listening to music, doing some coding and updating the Raid Times website, which isn't actually work, but it's quite fun to do. So last night, Niantic tweeted out that Rayquaza was the most popular Raid boss last week, uh, beating Kyogre and Groudon collectively, which is really good news because that means windy type weather boosted Pokemon will hatch more often or more commonly than um, other Pokemon in 10, 5 and 2 km eggs. So from 10 km eggs, we've got a greater chance of hatching a Neurodactyl, Dratini, a Beldum, a Bagon, a Ralts and a Chimeco, uh, which is really good news. So that can hopefully help us to get a Salamence and a Metagross by the end of this uh, promotion or event. And also from a 5 km egg, we have a greater chance of hatching a Why Not? Because uh, we need him and we also need some more Wingles to be able to get its evolution. Um, also, Niantic announced some new raid bosses, so we're going to go through them now. So we're just going to open up our file. So from level two, uh, they've brought back Executor, which is really good news, and they've added Slowbro, uh, which is quite good. We actually did raid that um, after our level three boss, which we're going to mention in a minute. Uh, quite easy to defeat, and I actually got a 98% one. So level two wise, we've got Executor back again. He was one of the original raid bosses. That's good news for grass lovers. We've also got the addition of Slowbro, which is an interesting choice. We did take one on earlier, quite easy to defeat. And I did come out with a good IV one. So that was well worth the raid pass. For level three, we've got uh, two Pokemon back. We've got Alakazam and we've got Scyther back again. And we've got the addition of three new Pokemon. So we've got Aerodactyl, uh, we've got Claydol, which doesn't seem to be uh, soluble easily anyway. Um, could be quite tricky, it might be depending on weather, maybe rain, s clear weather, uh, which would be sunny, or um, foggy, which we've never had in the game unfortunately, so we can't get the boost for the Tranchars. And lastly we've got a Starmie as well, which would be an interesting one. I haven't seen one pop up here yet, but once it does we're going to nip out and record and see how quickly we can do it. Um, also, I've updated the Raid Times website, which um, adds the new Pokemon and their moves. So if you do a raid yourself, you can take a screenshot of the final end time and upload it to the website and see how well you're doing in comparison to other trainers. So at the moment, for the new Pokemon, we've only got um, uh, Slowbro and Aerodactyl added to it as well. I think there were some original entries for Alakazam and Scyther as well, so you can see how well other trainers are doing and um, maybe have a go yourself. So for now, I'm going to get back to work. Thanks a for watching and here's the um, Aerodactyl Red.